Good day, everybody. Um, it is another day that we are here together to study the Word of God. But before we start, let's uh, pray. Father, we thank you for everything. As we are going to your Word, it's a Word of encouragement. Speak to us and let your Word minister to our heart. Take away every form of destruction. Give us the grace to see ourselves in this world as a mirror. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Once again, um, I just want us to share this wonderful Bible doctrine together as we look at the book of Judges, chapter 2, from verses 1, a little bit down to verses 6. I talk about um, the children of Israel disobedience and I want just to give you a little recap of what happened in the life of the children of Israel. Uh, They were in the captivity in the land of Egypt and through their cry the Lord raised up, God had their cry, God the Lord raised up for them through Moses and Moses led them out of captivity from the land of Egypt and they passed through the wilderness for 40 years and at the end of that 40 years the Lord himself took Moses home that is he died and um, Joshua continued to rule the nation of Israel and after the death of Joshua at the age of 110 and we are able to see this particular aspect and that has been the the book of Judges where God continued to raise Judges for the nation of Israel. But in chapter 2 of the book of Judges, we are able to see something dramatic that the children of Israel did that is so alarming and that makes us understand that our God is a jealous God and that is what we want us to look and as a role to play in our lives the same thing that happened to children of israel after they have been in the land that is flowing with milk and honey that god has promised them they felt it is not right for them to do things the way they wanted don't forget at the brim of success as a brim of a breakthrough if care is not taken we see believer doing things outside the will of God even though you are a child of God don't forget the people in question we're talking about is the nation of Israel they are chosen by God among every other nation in the world just a single tribe God made them to be mighty so God chose them to be a nation of God to be children of God, adopted by God. And what happened? We're going to see, just as you see at, on the screen, Israel disobedience. They disobeyed God. Because God is a God of jealous. Uh, God is a God of jealous. doesn't want you to serve any other God apart from Him once you are saved. When I was sharing this particular teaching with my family yesterday night, I asked one of my children that <laughs> if a child of God stopped to worship God, what will God do? And one of my child said, one of my children said that oh God will discipline. The same thing we're going to see exactly because the principle of the word of God is the same throughout from Genesis to to Revelation. So let us read. It's just gonna be a short teaching. Uh Judges chapter 2, verses 1 to 6, which says, Don't forget the topic is Israel's disobedience. And we're going to see the aftermath of what will happen to Israel, which is also going to be replica to any child of God in our own generation today, in our own dispensation today, that disobey God's commands, which is the word of God. I start from verse 1. Then the Lord, then the angel of the Lord came up from Giga to Boshim and said, I led you up from Egypt and brought you to the land 
of which I swore to your fathers. I said, I will not break my covenant with you, and you shall make no covenant with the inhabitants of this land. You shall tear down their altars, but you have not obeyed my voice. You, Why have you done this? Therefore, I also said, I will not drive them out before you, but you shall be turned in your side. Okay? For they shall be tongues in your side, and their God shall be a snare to you. So it was when the angel of the Lord spoke this word to all the children of Israel that the people lifted up their voices and wept. Then they called on the name of that place, Boshim, and they sacrificed there to the Lord. And when Joshua had dismissed the people, the children of Israel went each to his own inheritance to possess their land. What can you see here? That children of Israel, after getting all what God had promised their forefathers, because in the in the in the in the wilderness, the first generation died. We now have the second generation that made it through to the promised land. We are told that God told them, if they fail to worship him, he's going to discipline them. He's going to let their enemy to rule over them. And as the Lord spoke to them, they listened to what God has spoken. But one thing the children of Israel did, they disobeyed God by not destroying all the altars of the idols where they are, that is, you know, is, is a land that is being possessed, inhabited by some group of people that are country, and they are now going there to take over that possession. So it's normal that they're going to see a lot of things done in that environment, that community that's against God. Instead of them to destroy the altars and the hiders that they found in that new community, that new country, they said to be worshipping it. So, and God said, because you disobeyed me, I can see, because you disobeyed me, that is going to make them to suffer. Look verse 3. Therefore, I also said, I will not drive them out before you but there shall be tongues in your sight and their God shall be a snare to you. Why? Because you disobey the commands of God. Now these are children of Israel how can we relate it to our own life? What are the commands of God? The commands of God are written in the word of God. These are the principles we want to derive from this particular teaching. The commands that God gives to us as a child of God, as children of God, are we obeying it? We have the book of uh, epistles that God has given for the churches, this, uh, the believers, to read, to understand, to study, to be the doer of those principles and laws that he has given to us, the law of the Spirit that we need to obey. Do we obey the word of God to the letter? Do you obey the law of God to the letter? If not, verse 3 of what God said to the children of Israel will will repeat itself against us as a children of God. That instead of the problem that is before the children of Israel to to be one that is going to make that problem to be a snare to them. Instead of their enemy to be afraid of them, that the children of Israel will be a slave to their enemy. So as the children of God, we should learn that the same God of yesterday is God of today and God forevermore. The same principle works in our life today as a child of God. We are saved to serve him. We are saved to worship him. So we ought to obey his commands. What are the commands of God? 
the instruction you are hearing from the word of God. Are you applying it? In James chapter chapter 2, uh, chapter 1 verse 2. I'll read, uh, okay, uh, chapter 1, verse 22. Let me read verse, James chapter 1, verse 22. It says, But be the doer of, but be the doers of the word, and not the hearer only, deceiving yourself. So you can see it, eh? that we should not just be the hearer of the word of God only. Otherwise, we deceive ourselves. Can you see? I've elected it to be green. But be the doer. The same command goes to myself that I'm teaching. The same command goes to you that is hearing. It's not just to go to church or to study the word of God and brag about the knowledge, but to study to do. The period of Jesus Christ came to him and the brothers that they want to see him and they send message to Jesus Christ. Your parents are looking for you. He said, who are, who are my parents? And he said to the audience, it is you that hears the word of God, that do what the word of God says are my brothers and my sisters and my parents. The same principle is applicable today. Who are your brothers and your sisters that God has designed for us? These are brothers and sisters that obey the word of God, that are the doer of the word of God. It's unfortunate that our world today, we are, we are just looking at the very fair, the, the physical aspect of things. What about the spiritual aspect? God wants us to be the doer of the word of God. Let's go back to the book of Judges, where we are studying chapter 2 from verse 1 and verse 3. Don't forget, and this is the discipline that God said we happen to the children of Israel for not obeying him. He said, therefore, I also said, I will not drive them out before you, but there shall be tongues in your side, and their God shall be a snail to you. So you can see, and anytime you see the angel of the Lord, that talks about the, the appearance of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament before his physical birth uh, in, the, in, the, in the New Testament. So yeah, God instructs his children, to continually obey him, not to disobey him. God wants his children to obey him and not to disobey him. This is just a short information that I would like to share with us. And I pray the Lord continue to speak his might to us and his name will be continued to be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you for what you have done. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, as we have heard your word, speak to us in that language that we glorify your holy name. Give us the grace to be the doer of the word. We want to honor you on our daily life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.